How you doing tonight? Just let you know this is my first time ever doing a stand-up comedy. Yeah. Over the past few years, I haven't done quite a bit of improv, but you know that's a little different. In fact, the shirt I'm wearing is from the uh, semi-professional improv group that uh, went off stage. It's great, but I'm still not ready to go right away. <laughs> um, I auditioned many times for Runners Up Improv, but I never got in. I'm only really, uh, mildly better about that, and uh, I think after the show tonight, I see a couple of people up here from that group, and I'm gonna ask some of my friends to help me drag them out and beat the shit out of them. But, I mean, <laughs> theater minor, like I just recently graduated from WSU myself, but I was, I was a theater minor there. And I learned some interesting stuff from being involved with that, like, the, the real difference between traditional theater and improv theater. Traditional theater is a lot of very smart, talented people who spend months working on remembering lines and building a character. They drink a lot and smoke a lot of pot. And improv people are also very smart, talented people and drink a lot, smoke a lot of pot. But they make it up on the spot, so essentially they're, they're very similar, just far, far lazier if you're an improv. The talent is difference between college students that write uh, research papers and college students that write essays on whatever, they're just their thoughts and opinions. Research writers spend months toiling over writings and articles trying to find stuff that backs up what they argue. College students that just write essays on their thoughts and opinions write down whatever bullshit they think will get them an A on their test. <laughs> and then, you know, then they just all go back to their apartments or dorms and smoke pie and be drunk. <laughs> I think one of the most creative inventions of the last decade has been uh, Facebook. And the reason I think that is because if you think about it, it's really just a glorified form of email. It's like some guy was sitting around stone one day and thought, you know, email is great, but I wish there was some way of letting every person I've ever come into contact with know what I'm doing and or thinking throughout my day. Because the average person really has such amazing activities and such profound thoughts that this stuff needs to be shared with everyone as much as possible. <laughs> You know, Kimberly just finished watching the first season of Jersey Shore. She can't believe Snooki's still single. <laughs> but the thing is, like, um, the other day I saw this commercial where this girl was uh, explaining about how um, she has over 900 friends, with, 900 friends between MySpace and Facebook. 900? I thought that was, you know, shocking. I didn't even know MySpace still existed. <laughs> It's just down to a town of people who couldn't quite grasp Facebook, so they're just like, now nah, screw Facebook, I'll just stick with MySpace. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite kind of crazy, and it's like, when you think about it, you know, how many friends on Facebook do you really know, and how many are just people that you just add because it's like, I don't know this person, but they know all these other people that I know, so they must be cool, so you just accept them anyways. I actually had that happen, like, I have people on Facebook that if I were to meet them in real life, I would have no idea of who they are. <laughs> I'm just like, I've actually met people in real life after I've added, added them as a friend on Facebook, and it's just kind of weird, like, oh yeah, we're on Facebook, aren't we? Who are you again? <laughs> who are you again? Okay, cool. So I'm glad that we're friends now. <laughs> it makes them less awkward now. The other interesting thing about Facebook is that, um, you know, years ago stalking was considered a bad thing, but now everybody has Facebook stalking. And it's just weird how, you know, it goes from following somebody around is creepy, but learning everything you can about them on a website, looking at pictures of them, totally acceptable. <laughs> what, how that works, but okay. And then, of course, people who uh, alter their Facebook name so that potential employers can't like look up things about them. And it's just like, you know, I guess you shouldn't have let people take those pictures of you smoking pot and starting coke, but you know, I guess it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, my time is about up, so I'll leave you with this thought. 3D has really taken over the movie industry. I mean, Avatar is a huge hit even though it's a complete piece of shit. <laughs>
Nobody wants to see a money shot. <laughs> <laughs> 